Hello everyone, and Happy New Year! And welcome to the first Todd Talk of 2016, because when Todd talks, people listen! Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this year, maybe, eh? Anyway, uh, we're already on episode 5 of Todd Talk, and I'm very happy because we only started this last month of last year, which I can now say, because I'm funny like that punny like that too anyway and to be at episode five is actually really fun because i've had a lot of views on the first four you really need to watch the doctor who one i just did it's got the least views of all of them shame shame how dare you not like doctor who kidding sort of kidding anyway and so for episode five and to kick off this new year i thought i'd do a todd talk about one of the comic book projects i am doing slash and have done uh called home Home is a fantasy comic miniseries I'm doing. It's actually the second comic book series I've done after Guardians, which is my superhero ongoing. And uh, I am happy to say, announcing right here on Todd Talk, that in two weeks from today, so January 15, 2016, I am going to be releasing Home number one for digital and for physical release. Uh, details further in this video. Uh, if you don't know about Home, basically it's about a young girl named Alicia. She was born with a natural blue hair on our Earth. Just to be clear, this isn't an alternate Earth. It's basically our Earth. Born with blue hair. She has ridiculed her entire life. She's roughly 23, 24 right now. And she's literally stuck. She has no parents. They died a couple of years ago. Um, she has very little money, just enough to sustain her life. She can't go to college, and she's stuck in this dead-end job, and she has very little hope for herself, and one day she starts seeing living computer code, and she realizes that not only can she, not only can she interact with this living computer code, she can manipulate it, and when she fixes, sorry about that, fixes it, uh, things happen in the real world. Primarily things get moved, or things fix itself. So she starts going around and uh, fixes any part of the code she can see and interact with. And eventually she opens up a portal into a world called Altaria, which is completely different from our own. This is a diff definitely a different dimension. And it has knights, it has monsters, and Alicia is now trapped there. And things start happening for the better and for the worse. And it's just this nice, it's this journey of both discovery and finding out what it means to have a home and finding out what is your home. If you can read the card, it says on the top, where is your home? And that's actually the underlying theme of this uh, series, which hopefully will go beyond Alicia's story one day. Uh, it's this concept of where is your home? Is it just a place where... You know, you live in, is it the place where your family is? Is it the place where your heart is? What is it? And Alicia's got to find that out through this wacky adventure in Altaria. And uh, last year, so funny saying that now, last year I had a Kickstarter for home number one, and we were successful. First time ever in my life I had a successful Kickstarter. <laughs> Anyone who knows me gets that joke. Um, and uh, next week, I am actually going to be receiving, finally, the uh, printed versions of Home Number 1 to ship out to all my Kickstarter backers, but that also means that I need to start releasing it to the general public, which is hopefully you people. And so, like I said, two weeks from today, we will be doing a digital release for sure. Uh, we're actually going to put it on the Guardians website, just where you can get the Guardians comics, so you can get the Home comics. All on one site, no need to go, oh, I need to go here for home, I'm going to go here for Guardians, it's it's way too complicated. So we're just going to do one site for both books, and whatever books comes next, and that'll be easy for you. Now, if you want physical copies, that's entirely doable and entirely plausible and possible. All you have to do is contact me. Um, you can do that via the Guardians or Home uh, Facebook pages, which I'll have the links in the comments, not the description, the comments below. 
uh, you can send a message personally to me saying, hey, I'm interested in this home, or hey, I heard about Guardians, you know, check that out. I want to check that out, but I prefer physical copies. I know people prefer phys physical copies. It's just the way it is. It's, in a way, you know, cheaper. No, it's not cheaper. It's not cheaper at all, but it's a... Uh, People like the feel of the comic, and I'm the same way. I actually own very few digital comics that you know aren't the ones I created, and so I understand that you want physical copies. Now, I won't deny it's a little expensive at times because, for example, if you were to just get home number one to ship it to you, it'd be like seven bucks because that's the comic and the shipping just to get it to you. But if that's what you want, I'll happily facilitate, and I'll even maybe throw in some uh, Guardians digital comics if you would like that. Or if you buy two comics, technically they'd be around the same price, and then we'll go from there. So check out my check out the sites, check out if you think you want it, and then let me know. Now, also as part of this home special, if you will, I am literally after the making of this video. It's a little after 1 p.m. January 1st. Uh, I am going to be writing the script for home number two, which will be go starting underway very, very soon. And my art team, uh, Din Nguyen, Beth Varney, and Zach Sam will be with me once again. Uh, yeah, I could not have done home number one without them. Very passionate group, very tight knit group, very professional in every way. Uh, they made home what it is. And if, when you see home number one, you'll actually see the evolution, especially for uh, Din, who's our pencil or inker, and Beth, Beth, who's our colorist, you know, as it goes on. And it's very exciting, and I can't wait to see what home uh, number two is like. So for a small preview, basically, I'm not going to spoil the ending of home number one, I bet you can guess what it is. Basically, everything kind of has now come to a head, you know. Uh, home number one is very much a Lucius issue. In fact, that she only had one line of dialogue, like out loud dialogue, this whole time. Uh, with home number two, that gets like totally shot. <laughs> you know, she's uh, in a very unfamiliar situation. She's now surrounded by people and beings that she didn't ever expect to meet in her entirety of life, and now she has to adapt on the fly. And there's going to be some very fun interactions, both with between Alicia and these characters. Uh, who I will confirm are the Knights of Altaria, if you didn't know about them. They are the defenders of Altaria, literally, and they defend the, uh, they're this small group that defends against the legions of monsters known as the Shreve. And you'll see both of them in this issue, and also we'll get a little bit of, uh, look and backstory as to what Altaria is, you know. How did it come to be? Why are the Shreve attacking it? What is Alicia's role in all this? I mean, you may not find out that one exactly, maybe, but you'll 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 get at least an inkling of how this may or may not resolve itself. So I'm very excited because you know I'm a character guy, and I mean that's why I write you know superhero comics because you can do really good character stories. But with home, you know, I wanted to go even deeper to characters. You know, Alicia. This is both, they're both Alicia for the record. Uh, Alicia, you know, she's a very different character than anyone I have in my Guardians comics, which is what I wanted. And with home number one, I wanted, it would have been so easy just to plop her in Altaria, you know, five pages in. Oh, look, I'm in Altaria. Why am I here? You know, but I didn't because I didn't want that because I wanted you to know why Alicia? Why did I make this character? Why should I care? about this character. And I know some people will be like, well, why did you spend a whole issue on her? And I'm like, because she's worth it. She is. And to me, that's, you know, the important thing. Because if you don't care about your main character, you just care about the action or, you know, the, the splash pages, the, the, the epic moments, I guess, you know, you're, you're going to lose something in the process. And that's something I don't believe in. I want you to know why I picked Alicia, why I made Alicia this way. And for me, that was all about making her an incredibly relatable character. And I honestly believe I did that. And even as I invoked, like, you know, some of the more action-y elements, which I am really happy we did. I mean, the page 20, if you, when you read Honor 1, page 20 was entirely different when I wrote the script. And then, like, I don't know, once the Kickstarter got funded and I started thinking about everything I wanted to do, I literally changed it at the time. And, you know, my colorist was like, 
with Beth Varney, she was like, uh, Todd, you totally changed page 20, help? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay. Uh, so now that that's done and, you know, we can really start, there's going to be a lot more, actually. Like, I can honestly say that home number two opens up with this massive battle scene and it'll probably go on for a few pages and then we'll kind of like slow it down just a bit and get into what is going on here and i'm very excited for that i mean i'm literally trembling with anticipation to write this script so now my plan barring like a massive um buyout of home digitally or physically uh, we are most likely going to do another Kickstarter for issue two. I know that may seem a little weird, but frankly, um, I, I'm still making Guardians as my ongoing, and my team, we need a certain amount to make each issue of Home, which is more than I can afford right now. So we worked last time with the Kickstarter. We, I hope to work next time with the Kickstarter, and hey, if we get way more than we need, then hey, I'm, I'll am i totally do home number three without a Kickstarter. You know, I was, I was only hoping to do that with home number two. Didn't happen. But hey, we got funded. Home number one is made. Their printed issues are coming to me right now. So I can't complain. Now, most likely, this will begin uh, beginning of February. About a, so literally a month from now or so. Uh, that's my hope. Uh, my plan is, you know, have the launch of home middle of January work on home number two throughout January, and then should we need the Kickstarter, which I do believe we will, um, we launch it, we do it, knock it out of the park, and we go from there. And if I have my way, I would have the mini-series, or Lysia's story, for lack of a better term, uh, Lysia's story of home done by the end of 2016. That is honestly my New Year's resolution. Will that happen? I have no idea. But, um, you know, I did some things uh, a little bit long with home number one. I hope to shorten out with home number two. And it's my hope that once we get this going, we won't, we won't stop. And I'll have a full mini-series on my hands. And I can't wait to do that. So, with that, I thank you for being here on the fifth episode of Todd Talk. Uh, again, I encourage you to check out uh, the Home and Guardians FB page. I have them in the comments below, or if you're listening via our SoundCloud page, I have the links in the description. Uh, check it out. We have a bunch of art for both series on both pages. Uh, also check out guardians-comic.com. I'll have a link below to that too to see what Guardians is all about. The first issue is free. Um, stay tuned. I will be doing more Todd Talks, uh, and I hope that you will check out my comics and maybe even want to check out Home when it comes out on January 15th. So, I thank you again for being here. If you've made it this far, I know you are listening, and I will see you around in 2016!